dead in the flesh, alive in the spirit, alive in the spirit, but dead in the flesh. Hey, hey what's going on, everybody? It's your boy inside 11, man. We talking about how we're goddamn it dead in the flesh, but alive in the spirit, or alive in the spirit and dead in the flesh. But so look, this 3D body, this density from an atmospheric space, we were all spaces within spaces that created this whole existence together as a collective group of spirits and shit like that, right? We all pinpoint and align our own relative position within the space, within this time. Meaning that we all share this space, this existence, but we all come out at different times. Out of our mother's wombs, you know, we all have different concepts, a different mind about how reality should be lived and shit like that, right? But look spirit constantly likes to transform so just like how we go to sleep and we dream we jump from dream to dream just like in real life we ex we jump from experiences to experiences and shit like that but a lot of the times that's what the spirit likes to do the spirit likes to transform but if the spirit is too stuck inside of a mind inside of a frame of reference of past experiences and, and concepts about life and how it should be lived like a religion, a political system, a particular way of entertainment and shit like that. Because spirit just like to jump into new experiences. So a lot of the times we may affiliate ourselves unknowingly based upon insecurities uh, that become biases. We're really vulnerabilities, things that we don't want to transform because we may feel scared. Or we may feel like, oh, this is unknown to us and shit like that, right? When we don't do that, a lot of the times we become dead in the flesh and dead in the spirit world, right? Because our mentality is not being re degenerated subconsciously unconsciously we're actually being conditioned by the world and we're being directed by other you know people with wizard and witches energy in the world that we're not even really being privy to as far as what's really going on as far as uh the shadow garment that create this reality and shit like that so we allow our mind our spirit to continue as a collection group of people to animate these concepts and give life to things that don't really benefit us in the long term meaning that look a lot of motherfuckers show up to work every day but don't necessarily get a good check or you know carry a lifestyle that is in harmony with their spirit with their internal existence that they're actually here to live out as a concept instead here you get overworked at work you might you might get finessed with the pay all types of shit but here's the thing though it's not bad because it's a concept of like bargain and gain and shit like that so it's like you can go to work get some physical currency money and take that and do your purpose with that that's if you have a purpose though because if you're dead in the flesh and if you're dead in the spirit world that means that you're not really animating the reality that you want to animate you're not having the experiences you want to uh, have experience we're kind of sitting back doing it from someone else's uh perspective based on based upon you know another man's intellectual property and stuff like that about how life should be lived so we think okay so if you're someone who's overly too left brain too logical too practical and has no empathy, no right brain, no emotional intelligence and shit like that. You can see them being, being a conservative or, you know, maybe a Republican or any of those uh, extremely logical programs. Like, oh, I'm going to be a scientist. I'm going to be a mathematician. Now, look, oh, there's nothing wrong with none of those things. But you also have to remember the right brain side of things. Because, like, reality is a whole circle. It's a whole existence. It's not just a half cake. It's not like, oh, oh I'm going to take, I'm a, I only want to see this piece of the cake. But I don't want to see this piece of the cake. I want to overuse this side of my faculty, this organ, but I don't like this other side of me. Because everything that play out internally also play out externally. So, you know, it's, it's it, yeah, it's, it's really interesting, right? Because a lot of people, a lot of people may not connect with their own feelings, have no emotional intelligence. So they may, they may not be emotionally intelligent when it comes to the interaction uh, with other people and shit like that. And that kind of like, you know, you almost, because it's an intelligence almost to sit back and feel what someone what another where another space is at and there's another a lot of ways to pinpoint and see where other people are at so you don't it's not required for people to sit back and be emotionally connected to others no you can purely do it from a logical space as well but at the same time that we want to make sure that we're whole within because when we're whole we're, we also are an example for the people around us but you know i don't want to say how existence should be lived or, or what exactly? It's just more like we become a new possibility within this realm of unlimited possibilities. Because the thing is, we're just on a timeline right now, right? We're on a timeline where a lot of the spirits are agreeing to this uh, bullshit-ass, retarded-ass world and how it's ran. It's based upon 
being incapable or insecure or unsure or you know areas where they wasn't validated on so they know they don't know how to carry themselves in particular areas whether it's their own morality or whether you know how they personally build relations because look we all do these areas pretty much like we all have bronf our own broad philosophical point of views we all have our own uh individuality what we're personally into we all have our own values or at least how we go about our values and shit like that uh you know we all have a, a way of communicating in our environment but here's the thing the temperament and how we align and pinpoint our you know kind of like what we're here to learn and unlearn what we like and what we dislike our uncomfortabilities and our comfortabilities and stuff like that how we take action how we react to things how we think communicate and analyze we pinpointed those things differently so we're all in this wheel of existence of time and space but the version that we made of this temple of god this wheel of time and space is different than other people's versions of shit and shit like that but that's not the point the point is to understand that we are operating through a relative position within space and time meaning that we all have aligned uh, our alignments and you know our character in a particular way shaped it and formed it but it's based upon things that we resonated with so now if we resonated with low vibrational concepts that are slow moving in nature and shit like that that we're not we're not a spirit that constantly transforms that's willing to constantly change we like to be safe comfortable venus external world what's seen to us because it's safe basically and shit like that which is third dimension stuff you know stability security and safety the material material realm right we're not going to be the type of spirit that brings newness into life we're going to be the type of spirit that brings death into life meaning that the concepts that we're constantly being that we're constantly incarnating into as a mind that play out in third dim dimensional reality be shit that's just familiar to us and based upon that we like to stay in those things because god don't need to be called the name allah god the son don't need to be referred to as the name jesus or that particular alchemy of the christ consciousness and stuff like that right um or you know as far as hinduism and all these things because all these things are concepts but we get to understand that all these concepts you would jump into not based upon truth a lot of times it's based upon a bias right so say for example i have an insecurity and you know i'm inside of religion and hey this religion caters to my insecurity but i don't want to deal with that insecurity so i'm going to live out this theology this way of viewing the world because i don't want to go within and deal and do the shadow work and you know deal with why am i so attached to a particular concept about life and why do i think existence can only come this way because that's the thing though a lot of spirits mentally on a mental level they don't be free enough to go experience something new so we're holding on to these mental lows the, these uh mental versions of realities based upon just not dealing with our own internal mind not doing the shadow work and all that shit. so we hold on to all these concepts about life and we stay limited in life but we're a being of infinite potential in a finite fleshly fluid flesh you know what i'm saying and shit like that and the, 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 the mind itself is finite that's why we have to be able to let go of this mind and regenerate a new mind and shit like that but it's all based upon sitting back and actually understanding the cycle that we're in you know the ouroboros you know and shit like that looking okay god damn it i'm doing a bunch of stuff on the third dimension but what is all that stuff based upon is it based upon my cycle in the you know in the, the, my mental cycle because a lot of things that we mentally recycle we could be giving life to stuff that we need to give death to we, we, we we're supposed to be giving death to things that we have been giving life to a lot of the times and shit like that so we can have a new birth about how those things can be done and that's like spring season you know uh initiating something new uh, it's like when a baby gets born it's like a traumatic experience and it's interesting because aries has pluto in it as well so when a baby gets born into this reality it has its birth and stuff and stuff like that you know what i'm saying it can be traumatic it can be hurtful but at the same time that that hurt that pain is what's needed to you know create that something new aka in the springtime and shit like that right so we play it in a lot of different ways but all this is to say basically is that we're in this flesh but we're, we can be dead in the mind and we're when we're dead in the mind meaning that we're zombies we're non-player characters we're robots taking on other people's concepts without knowing what these concepts are that there really is a bias and uh, based upon a bias 
And based upon us being in, in a vulnerability, having a, a lack of security in something or insecurities and shit like that, we can jump into these things unknowingly to fulfill that bias because the spirit just does externally what it has already fulfilled internally and shit like that, right? So what we gotta do is we gotta have, have this understanding that we are not this flesh and body because a lot of people be scared to die, be scared to, you know, whatever it is, but you're living out your mind and your mind is where you're going. So just like when you go to sleep, you go to your dreams and shit like that, you're going to your mind, you're going to your subconscious, going to the unconscious, you're going to your internal world and shit like that. And this is what we all do as spirits. We just travel from one point to the other. Same way you wake up out of your bed, you go brush your teeth, you go to school, which is basically what we do in this indoctrination. Same thing you do, you go out to places externally, right? It's the same way you think you do internally. We jump because the spirit is just nothing. So you jump from your left brain to your right brain. You jump from your heart to, you know, your sexual organ. You jump to your sexual organ to your gut. You jump from your gut to your muscular system. But we do all these things at the same time, meaning that we're not stuck into one of these things. We're doing all this shit at the same time, meaning that our spirit is moving our blood. It's moving our... And it's, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's a group of spirits. It's a bunch of existences working together. So we're not the only spirit in our body. It's a like multiple spirits and stuff like that that, that represent different uh, cell functions, different organ functions and shit like that. And we're all animating this reality together. But since we're the ruling spirit, we were the biggest spirit within our space. And we manage uh, all those spirits because they follow us and shit like that as far as an incarnation, reincarnation cycle. Because we're the, we're the spirit and shit like that. Uh, and then we create concepts, bodies to trap spirits into that become condensed as fleshly fluids, depending on how much time we spend to those concepts and shit like that. To the point that you can have a thought, you can have a feeling, but when you start to accumulate that thought and feeling, it becomes an existence. And if it's not a healthy thought, if it's not a healthy feeling, it can become a negative existence. But we can experience a disease in our body based on a, a mental imbalance. You can experience a health issue. You can experience an external issue in life based on not creating some type of balance in the situation, aka this, because this is what we do all the time, right? We just create triangles, ideas, problems, and solutions. And we bring those things together to create some type of overall body and shit like that. Or to create, a body is not just something like this fleshly fluid, it's also just an external body, like something that we live out as a reality and shit. Uh, whether, you know, it's the body of education, whether it's the body of politics, whether it's the body of religion, all these things are spheres in reality areas of life that we jump into based upon agreeing to that concept and shit like that so this is, just, this is just what we do as spirits and shit so when we're aware that you know life is the first stage of life itself is the mind and that's the that's the true reality and shit before we condense these bodies before we create this physical reality and shit we can understand that okay i'm not supposed to live out for this physical reality i'm supposed to live out from live for my spirit live from a space of being a child and just really really and it's not just that because you become an adult and that's a part of life as well because now i'm saying once something, once something gets too old we have to let go of that vehicle to you know create a new vehicle that's young and new again and not just on the mental level also on the physical level but a lot of the times you know you got all these different health variables that are compromising people's health so people don't be living out you know as much as they can live in now, because life is just infinity potential. And so when our health is compromised, the body gets sick quickly, and uh, these fleshly fluids, it degenerates at a faster rate, and we're not able to kind of, but here's the thing, it, living life itself doesn't matter, because wanting to live in the flesh itself is kind of evil, right? Because you know the first reality, the mind and shit like that, do you understand that, okay, God damn it, I'm supposed to live out whatever I want to do, whatever the fuck I want to do in my mind, have a free spirit so I can go in and out of the spaces that I want to experience more freely and just constantly be in a space of transformation, constantly be in a space of change and shit like that. So a lot of people be scared of change and shit, right? Think about the habits and the routines that we have. That represents the sixth house, what we like to work towards, what we have in routine, what we have on schedule, based upon the second house, what we value as far as, you know, shit that we like to jump into and shit like that, right? These are, these are, these are practical things. But these practical things can be done in our own way for our own benefit on our own time, not on someone else's time for their benefit or shit like that. Because that's us being stupid spirits and letting our reality be programmed for, you know, 
letting our reality be programmed by someone else outside of us. And at that point, we're not really living in our reality. We're just being mental robots, mental slaves, and living out someone else's template for existence rather than coming up with our own template for existence. But so here's the thing though, right? Religions, politics, all these things, they're not bad, but if we don't know what these things are based upon, that were purposely put inside of a system of opposition, not only so we can oppose ourselves, but only but so we can oppose others as well. And they can sit back and create this rhetoric and narrative of, of uh, race wars, of, you know, uh, shit, I don't know, religious hate or shit like that, because we don't understand what these religions are based upon. And if we understood, if humanity understood what these things were made from and shit like that, we would not be lost in these things, because then we would truly understand existence and we wouldn't be divided amongst the left brain or the right brain or certain vices or favor certain virtues more and shit like that we would understand where everyone is at and we would be able to work with that and we would be able to create a system that is harmonious to spiritual evolution we would and it would help take everybody out of that you know humanistic animalistic demonic space that we're in to the point that we want to sit here and we want we want everyone else to feel us yeah, we can't feel anyone. So a Muslim will say, hey, here, feel this Allah theology. A Christian would be like, feel this Bible scripture. But you can't sit back because it's not an intelligent spirit. It's a dumbass spirit. And it's not able to get out of its own bias to relate and see, okay, what's going on within this person's existence. So we don't have to, so we don't, don't have to clash and shit like that. But yeah, short video, man. You know, I'm going to go to sleep right now and fucking prepare for my next morning. So I can uh, get into the products that I need to get into. But yeah, peace out everybody. Peace out.